morning and welcome not only to a, a beautiful winter's day here in the UK, but also episode three of this guide to uh, EV ownership and everything you need to know about it. Today, we are gonna talk about public charging. Now, this is another great big topic that people, especially if you've never had any experience of an electric vehicle before, uh, people just want to know and want to understand how it works because well, it seems really daunting to be in the public eye trying to charge up a car which is quite an unusual sight still and people will look and will wonder and will speak to you about what's going on so actually you want to go and you want to be confident at those charges so hopefully by the end of this this uh, episode you will understand the general rules and the general way to make these public charges all work now when you're out and about generally you'll find two types of public charger the first is a fast charger and as we established in episode one that's anything between about seven kilowatts and about 21 22 kilowatts the other is a rapid charger and that is anything above that and we're at the moment we're seeing up to 350 kilowatts there's not many of those about yet and not many cars that can accept it but that's what we're starting to see roll out now let's start let's split them down let's start with fast chargers uh, because well they're probably going to be the most familiar to you especially if you've got a charge point fitted at home the most fast chargers you'll find are installed in shopping centers or car parks or places where you're likely to be stopped and parked for a decent period of time a few hours so fast chargers as i say look in the hole very much like your home chargers like the box you'd have on your wall the majority of them are seven kilowatts most of these chargers they're well they're free to use because it's a way of encouraging you to a destination but there's one thing you must remember you will need uh, in the vast vast majority in fact um, probably 99 percent of all these fast chargers i've ever used in public you will need your own charging cable now the the boxes themselves they will take a type 2 plug much like the home charger so you'll need a type 2 plug on the end of your charging cable and at the other end of that charging cable whatever type of plug your car accepts so uh, i personally have one in the boot of my car all the time i bought it when i bought the car it wasn't particularly cheap but it's been invaluable over time it means it wherever you go generally you can get a charge you're not dependent on rapid charges all the time and when you arrive at these fast charges you will find that because it's a way of trying to get you to that destination generally they're free and when they're free it, it doesn't all the time it doesn't mean that you're reliant on uh, apps or RFID cards or or any other way of getting it started there's some you are and we will talk about that but the vast majority well, you simply you have to plug it in you might have to turn a switch on and that's it it starts charging your car exactly the same as it would do at home so let's have a little look now at a couple of the the most common types of charger now i'll, I'll explain who runs these charging systems but you can probably uh, take the information that i'm giving you here uh, and apply it to other brands of charger uh, it just it's going to give you an idea of an rfid card and a um, an app and how they work with these free chargers the first type of charger for us to look at is the well it's the quickest and simplest to explain because it's no different from the charger you'd have at home simply take your lead plug it in and the most amount of work you may have to do is flick a switch to turn it on but other than that you're up and running and charging for free the next type of fast charger for us to look at is one that uses an RFID card. These cards can be easily obtained from the companies who run the charge points and sometimes there's a small fee for them and other times they'll send it to you for free. The charge points themselves are very similar to the previous ones. They're 7 kilowatt chargers that you simply tap your RFID card on to activate them and then you plug your own lead in and you'll be charging in no time at all. The final type of fast charger is one that requires an app on your smartphone. This particular one is run by Podpoint, and like all the others, it requires you to plug your own lead in first, activate the app on your smartphone, you select the one relevant to where you're parked. These ones are all called uh, names for some reason. Select the side that you wish to activate and confirm your charge. You'll then see that the light turns to green and your car starts to charge. 
Well, I hope that's helped you to understand fast charging a little bit better and you can see just how simple it is. It's not much different from what you do at home. Uh, but what about those rapid chargers? Those huge boxes you see in service stations and car parks which are covered in leads and they've got AC and DC written on them. What, what does it all mean and how do you actually make them work? Well, let's start off with the AC-DC. Uh, what does it mean? And well, let's just simplify it. AC is alternating current, DC is direct current. Now, current comes from the grid as AC, alternating current. But your battery needs to be charged via DC, a direct current. So at some point, that current needs to be converted in order to charge your battery from AC to DC. Now, there is a converter in your car and you'll find that when you're plugged into the slower chargers, it will come in as an AC current and it will be converted and your battery will be able to take that charge on and there'll be no issues. But when we're talking about charging at these really high speeds, then that converter needs to be, well, that much beefier in order to make it work. And these big machines effectively house a big converter and that converter allows that AC current from the grid to be pumped straight into your battery without having to go through a converter inside your car. So when you, you plug in, if you plug into DC, you will know that the power coming from the machine, the charger, has already been converted to DC and is going straight into your car battery. If you plug into the AC plug, because that's the plug that your car accepts, that conversion will happen in your car and uh, will then be put into the battery. So it could be confusing, but don't let it be. Whatever plug fits your car, plug it in. Let the systems do their work. Whether it's AC or DC, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it will charge your car through whichever plug fits your car. And that brings us on to all those leads. There's quite often you'll see there are three different leads. And um, again, we could talk about the leads and what they do and all the rest of it, but ultimately one of those leads is gonna fit your car. So whatever car you've got, just find out which lead fits. This Nissan Leaf, it accepts a Chadamo. That's that big round one. Uh, it could be a CCS. You, know, you just, just take the lead that fits into your car. It's as simple as that. So you've arrived at this charger. You know which lead you're gonna plug in. So um, we're feeling quite confident at this point. But then there's a screen on it and it says in order to start your charge, you have to do something. And it could be any number of things from pressing a button to logging onto an app to uh, using a card, which you've got to pre-order. What do you need to do? Well, I could spend the next hour and a half going through every single different charger with every single company and telling you how each individual one works. But let's be honest, that's gonna get very dull very quickly. But let's look at it, look at it generally because regardless of what sticker and what brand is on that, that rapid charger, well, there's only a few of them that are out there, a few different types, and they all kind of work in the same way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you an example of one with an RFID card, uh, one that you access via an app. And finally, one that is uh, contactless. You can use your bank card to pay for it with your contactless payment. And uh, let's look at those three and hopefully that will, by the end of it, you'll understand how they all work. Let's start with the RFID card. This is a local rapid charger, which I can access using my Polar card. Simply tap your card on the panel as indicated. Select the charger type. For me, this is Chadamo. Plug the lead into your car. and press start. Once synchronized, the charge will start. To finish the charge, tap your card on the screen again, press the stop button, and when told to do so, remove the plug from your car. It really is that simple. The next way of accessing rapid charging could be the most daunting, but don't let it be. Yes, you do need a smartphone and you need an app on it, so make sure it's preloaded before you go. The most popular app-based charging service here in the UK is Ecotricity or the Electric Highway. 
In order to start charging, simply load the app on your phone, scan the pump's QR code, and select the charger that fits your car. Then enter your credit card details, which is already preloaded, and you just need to put the security code in. And finally, follow the instructions on the screen, which are plug it in and press start. You'll then hear some whirs and beeps and clicks and your car should start charging and you'll have a message on your smartphone to tell you how long until it's ready to go again. The final type of rapid charger is one that you can access by your contactless bank card. Now I don't have any of these near me, so uh, after a heartfelt plea on Twitter, Ian came to my rescue. Ian is a plumber and he drives a Nissan ENV200 and local to him is one of these InstaVolt rapid chargers. Let's listen to Ian as he talks us through the process. Right, here we go. Connect, plug to car. <clears throat> Top contactless. And it should. And there we go. And it gives you a little run down here if I show you what this is. So it tells you how long you've been time for, 33 seconds, how many kilowatts and what the battery is. So that just keeps it scrolling through. That's it, so if we want to stop, we stop. And I think you tap the card as well, I'm not sure. I can't remember how it works actually. Cut swipe. Even with one hand, Ian made that look pretty simple. A massive thank you to Ian for helping me out on that. And if you want to see the full video with his commentary, then follow the link in the description below. Now, hopefully that has just cleared everything up for you, made you realize that um, actually rapid charging and public charging isn't anything to be worried about. And it, um, well, just go out and do it. The quicker you go out and do it, the quicker you see how simple it is. Uh, then the more confident you become. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've learned something new. Uh, this is episode three. I have got another one in mind, but as I've said all along, uh, we might not have covered some of the things that are important to you. And what's important to you probably is important to somebody else. It's a question somebody else has in mind. So please put something in the comments section. It would be great to understand what you need to know, and then we can answer those questions. And if it's not me answering it, potentially it'll be somebody else in the comments. Uh, it's a fantastic community we've got on here and some very, very knowledgeable people. An awful lot of them are a lot more knowledgeable than me, I have to say. Uh, but uh, you know, if, if, if there's something that important, then we can make another video and we can cover that. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to like and share. If you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want to support the channel, follow the Patreon link and have a look there. Uh, but for now, thanks ever so much. You take care and I'll see you soon.